Joining us today to talk about the benefits of lung cancer screening is Lehigh Valley Health Network expert, Dr. Stephen Evans. Welcome to PA Live, doctor. Hi, good afternoon. What are some of the risk factors associated with lung cancer? So the majority of lung ca cancer risk is associated with smoking, either directly smoking yourself or secondhand smoke. But there's also other things such as radon and other radioactive gases, certain chemicals, asbestos, silica, coal dust, which is pretty prominent in this region yet, uh, diesel exhaust, and other chemicals that we're still finding out. Now, when we hear about those things and maybe getting exposed, that's w one aspect to it. But how about um, when, when people think, well, someone had lung cancer in my family? Is it hereditary? <laughs> the short answer is we don't know. Um, there does seem to be a slight increase in, in lung cancer when you have a family member that you are close to, such as a, a sibling that was diagnosed. But we're not sure if it's the genetics or other environmental factors where maybe both of you were exposed to secondhand smoke when you were children or other chemicals. So it's not really clear. If someone is thinking, or they're watching right now and saying, I might have been exposed to something, maybe something is in my family, and they want to get a CT scan, is that something that a patient can get or request? Uh, yeah. Right now, the uh, U.S. Uh, Preventive Task Force uh, recommends uh, CT scanning uh, yearly for any individual uh, who smokes with at least what we call a 20-pack year history. So that's for every year you smoke a pack a day, it counts as a, as a pack year. If you smoke two packs a day, it's two pack years. So anybody with a 20-pack year history of smoking, aged 50 through 80, um, and you have to be still smoking within 15 years. So if you quit 20 years ago, it wouldn't be indicated. Um, one thing to, to kind of know with this is that the recommendations changed recently and that some insurances may not cover this yet. Um, the, the, the way this works after the recommendation, the, the insurance companies have a few years to actually kind of catch up with their coverage. And right now they have till 2023 to, to cover this. But previously, um, it was covered for slightly older uh, ages, 55 and 30 pack years. So it's one of those, I would talk with your doctor about your risk and uh, probably just check with your insurance company to make sure it'll be covered. Absolutely. All such great information. And our viewers can continue this conversation by visiting lvhn.org. Doctor, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.